They thought the show was over. They thought this was stopping for dancing. Not me. Invocation is pretty much inviting a spirit to inhabit your body or to inhabit your conscience. So the thing is, you may have talents that you're born with, but now when you invite the spirit to become part of your character, you begin to develop their gifts as well as characteristics. Now, I understand we have a various depictions of voodoo ceremonies. Now, as I've always stated to me, voodoo ceremonies are exaggerations of the truth. You can learn lessons there, but in reality, we can look at it as a tale or a story which is explaining stuff to us that are beyond our comprehension. Now, invocation, as I stated, is calling on a force or calling on a spirit being to inhabit your body or conscience to carry out certain acts. Let's just say this, if you are a calm person and you are a person that does not like confrontation, if you have your natal spirit that is very relaxed, in a time of opposition or confrontation, you may find yourself not wanting to go into that. Now, when you do an invocation, let's just say, of a warlike deity, you find that you're ready to go. You're ready for action. You're ready for whatever comes in this battle. Invocation is pretty much inviting a spirit into your body, into your consciousness. What is evocation? Evocation is summoning a spirit being that's going to work outside of you. In an evocation, we can look at it as a petition. You're petitioning a spirit to do something for you, be it good or bad. Unlike invocation, evocation is more of something occurring outside of yourself. Woo! Mm -hmm.